Let's have a look at some of the Robot Wars veterans on the show tonight. Ranked 24, sorry mate I didn't see you, Smidzy's back in town. Great team and a good robot, low to the ground with plenty of pushing power, and this year they've added a spinning disc weapon. Next, gleaming under the war zone lights, it's the sleek and shiny Steel Avenger, a powerful axe and this year back with an improved Shrimec and a breastplate or two. And finally, reigning champions and ranked number one, Chaos 2 returns to the arena tonight in their quest to be champions for the third time in a row. A phenomenal flipper that can toss over 100 kilograms out of the arena. And as we know, that's George Francis's party trick. At 22, Atomic is back with Atomic 2. They've a good tussle against Chaos 2 in the fourth wars, but fell foul of the awesome driving skills of George Francis. This year, the increased weight limit gives them a chance to up their flipping capability. One to watch, me thinks. Bulldog Breeds come out of its kennel for another crack at the title. They didn't do too well in the last wars, but learned plenty of lessons and have returned with a really powerful flipper. This dog's got no bark, but it's got plenty of bite. And of course, finally, rank number three, spinning to win, it's Hypnodisc. The Rose family return to cause their own brand of disc and I'm not going to stop them. I wonder if the five robotic rookies in the field feel the same. The Plunderbird boys are back with more mouth and motion, but unlike previous wars, it looks like Plunderbird 5 actually works and may even cause some damage. Hooray! But as ever, great to have Mike and Brian back and raring to go. Like some horrific mutation from a Tom and Jerry cartoon, Mousetrap snaps back into action rank 20. It's got a guillotine blade this year that's razor sharp. Durability's been there failing in the past, so here's hoping they can stay the course. And if you think that's surreal, check out Hippobotamus, made out of a kid's sandpit. Just how robust is a piece of plastic? But ranked number five and thankfully injecting a large dose of common sense and fighting fury to the field is Stinger. Always the bridesmaids, never the bride. Stinger look like they mean business. Returning to make my life hell and no doubt cause complete chaos in the pits are the Sacromalot boys. Steve Merrill is back and this year he's bought a friend. Ray Tate has joined the team and seems to have got his hands on the robot because it actually works. Always great fun and now with a chance of actually winning a fight they might prove worthy of their self-appointed knighthood. But the two to really watch for tonight have to be the awesome Firestorm ranked 7 and Gemini ranked 18. In the last wars, Firestorm reached the semi-finals but fell foul of Dominator 2's axe. They say this is their year, we shall see. The wonderful Gemini is the only cluster bot we've seen on Robot Wars with two flippers. It's double the trouble and leaves its opponents in a spin or out of the arena. Thermidor is back ranked 16 with lessons learned from previous wars. They say their flipper is better than Chaos 2's. A proud boast or foolish fantasy? We shall see. Napalm is back too with pretty much the same robot that they had last year. And last year this happened. Not looking good guys. Wild Thing has always been a great robot and that shows in its ranking. Number 9. Nick Adams is a fantastic driver and the machine is fast and dangerous. Now though, with a new spinning disc, it could cause a few upsets in the fifth wars. Velociripper is back and like Napalm, it looks the same as before. But a lot of work has gone into the insides of this little snarler. And finally, the Allcock boys return with Prize Fighter. Maybe this time it'll prove to be a true contender and get through the first round. Four well-known bots to watch for tonight. Dominator 2 is ranked 11 and has that awesome axe. King B is back and has a pussycat-style blade as a new weapon. Chronic 2 was a rookie last year but managed to reach its heat final. Back with an improved design, could this be the one to watch? And finally, the extra special Exterminator. Past performance sees Marlon Pritchard's robot ranked at 14 and they're back with their interchangeable flipper stroke axe and an excellent self-writing mechanism. Those lovable Essex boys return with Spawn Again ranked 13. They showed good promise in the fourth wars and reached the semi-finals but fell foul of Kim Davis and Panic Attack. 
Ranked 12th, Tornado always kicks up a storm and they could prove to be a solid challenger this year with the addition of a spinning disc weapon. After all, they did reach the round two of the semi-finals last time. And finally, the fire hazard, that is Deator. Great fun, full of fight and of course, never wins. But maybe this year will be their year. It seems better constructed and may actually give the other robots a run for their money. Back and tip for the top this year is Bear Moth, only ranked 15. But their lifting shovel is superb. And they've even thrown in a couple of choppers for good measure. Last time around, they were unlucky against Exterminator in the heat final. This year, who knows? And we mustn't forget the return of Robo Chicken. OK, maybe not the most destructive of robots, but it does look great. And last year, they stood up well to Pussycat until they fell foul of the cat and lost their head. Roger Plant is back in the pits with his wheelie big cheese. But with a flipper that got him into the semi last time around, this cheese is no stinker. First up, Splinter, who was destroyed by Hypnodisc in the semi final of the Fourth Wars, but returns head held high, ranked 17th to do battle tonight. Let's just watch that one more time, shall we? Fantastic. Little Joe Watts steers bigger brother to the war zone once more, and he has a secret weapon his little sister, Ellie, as well as an awesome flipper and the driving skills of Dad, Ian, of course. And finally, ranked eight comes Three Stegs to Heaven. A convincing performance last year has earned them a high ranking, but they've returned with a new robot. I didn't see much wrong with the old one myself. The Welsh boys return with Megamorg, ranked number 19. They didn't fare too badly in the fourth wars, making it to their heat final, but they were no match for the tempestuous firestorm. Major Tom has recovered from the mother of all headaches thanks to Shunt last time round and returned with the Dodgem car body and all new insides. Can they dodge the blows and come out on top? We'll have to wait and see. But for me, the one to watch tonight is the Series 2 champion, Panic Attack. Kim Davis is one of the best drivers on Robot Wars, and that, coupled with an ingenious design with lifting forks and a self-writing mechanism, makes them the sure favourite. Eco-robotic warriors something return with improved power and a weapon that can cause some serious damage, so they say. But they've never really proved themselves in the arena, with durability being their main shortcoming, proved in their second round battle against Mousetrap in the Fourth Wars. Destructor Bubbles back, as ridiculous as ever. And perhaps Razor's only real threat is suicidal tendencies. They've learned a lot of lessons over three years in competition, and that's why they're ranked 21st. And Razor themselves. Painful, lethal, terrifying. Need I say more? Andrew Cotterill and his two boys return to the war zone with another incarnation of their robot, Ming-3. A regular competitor in the wars, it isn't ranked this year. I can't for the life of me guess which robot they've borrowed a few design features from for the fifth wars. What do you think? Old Timers 101 are ranked 23rd, but lack of any major weaponry, unlike the rest of the field, puts them at a disadvantage. Mike and Amy Franklin always put up an excellent fight and made it all the way to the heat finals last time, but lost out to Dominator 2. But the robot everyone's talking about in the pits tonight is Pussycat. Young David Gribble is one of the best drivers in the field. They went all the way to the finals of the Fourth Wars and they were only just beaten by Chaos 2.